How to act like a CEO or a great leader means knowing when to collaborate versus when to direct. One of the mistakes that leaders often make is they begin to collaborate when what they really need to be doing is giving clear direction. Welcome to the Professional Development Group's YouTube channel. We help you become the kind of leader who can build high-performing teams and inspire engagement. We're glad you're here. We post new videos every week. And if you like what you find here, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified each time we make a new video. I am Sean Kent Hayashi, one of the executive coaches with the Professional Development Group. Think of it like this. Leaders wear many hats in order to be successful. One of the hats inevitably that we need to have is that collaborator hat. When we have our collaborator hat on, we're seeking out input and guidance, ideas from others. We're sharing our puzzle pieces so that we can build something bigger together. When we have our director hat or our leader hat on, we're giving clear guidance. We're creating a vision. We're articulating the components of a decision and how to move forward. We're giving people the green light to take projects to the next level. We're using our authority that comes from the role of being a leader to help resolve conflicts. It's the leader director hat that enables us to align the organization to help people to resolve and identify conflicts going on that need to be addressed. And it's also with that leader director hat on where we're able to inspire and align cross-functional efforts. If we behave as a collaborator, when we really need to be giving directions, we confuse people, we send mixed messages and we find ourselves thinking, why doesn't this team move things forward? As leaders, that's often a representation, though, of when we're not playing the right role or when we're not wearing the right hat. As a leader, you're going to find yourself in situations where two or more people need you to make the decision so that a project, an idea can move forward. Imagine this, your director of sales and your director of operations don't see eye to eye on something. But because they have equal levels of authority organizationally, they're not able to override each other. They need to come and talk to you and discuss their puzzle pieces, their ideas, and then have you make the final decision. Sometimes I use this metaphor with my coaching clients. Imagine two young kids, uh, maybe four or five years old, in a sandbox, and there's one bucket. What's going to happen? People will say to me, brawn or cunning are going to win out. That's right. Politics, uh, who's best at verbalizing things, this may cause one person to win out over another. And that may not be the best way to deal with the bucket. If a well-meaning parent, guardian, someone steps in and says, hey, I have an idea about how we could use that bucket. For five minutes, you get the bucket. And then when the timer goes off in five minutes, you, the other one, gets the bucket. And every five minutes, you just trade the bucket back and forth. But if you two can find a better way to do this that you like, feel free to do that. In the meantime, use this structure. So when the leader steps in and gives this guidance, now they can move forward with playing with the bucket. Okay, I've oversimplified this, I understand. But metaphors often help us to begin to reflect on where are those places in my own leadership where I have two or more people on my team who have the same level of power and authority if I'm not helping to facilitate decision-making when they're in conflict with each other, I'm actually encouraging brawn or cunning uh, politics, back-channel stuff to start to occur. What's much better is for me to create an environment where people know that they can bring issues, 
We're going to discuss them. It may take me three or four days and then I'll make the decision on how to move forward when we're in these kinds of situations. Now on occasions, I may decide to say, oh, Mary, that's your accountability as the head of marketing. I encourage you to get everyone's perspective and then tell us what your decision is. When you do this with Mary though, you have to be willing to accept what Mary decides. As you watch this video, put a comment in the comment section below. Are you more likely to choose the collaborator hat or the director leader hat as a default? Often I work with people who regularly wear that collaborator hat and they find themselves a little confused about when to and how to put the director hat on since they're well known for their collaboration. Create a clear vision. Talk with your team about what five years, 10 years, or maybe even 50 years looks like from your perspective. Ask people to align their accountabilities in a way that helps to support that vision. When you do this, you're wearing the director hat. You can then take that director hat off and collaborate individually with some of your team members about more specifics around the how they'll execute against the larger vision for the organization. It's best to have on your collaborator hat when you haven't yet made a decision about how you're going to do something. When you need input, guidance, new ideas, suggestions, when you want to make sure that you have buy-in before you move forward with some ideas that you're considering. Recently, I had the opportunity to do two different 360 reports on two different CEOs. What I found striking was that they had very similar feedback. In both cases, their direct reports were talking about the fact that they didn't feel clear about the big picture strategies, the goals, the initiatives that were going to drive the organization forward. And as I teased into it more, what I discovered was that in both of these cases, the leaders were fabulous collaborators. They were great at listening. They encouraged lots of sharing. They liked consensus decision-making and they rarely put on their leader hat to direct. So there was lots of discussion in their organization and it felt like things didn't move forward as quickly as they could. When I gave them the distinction about the collaborator hat versus the director leader hat, it became clear to them what was missing. And in both cases, we were able to have them create a clear vision statement for their organization and put direction in place for filling some roles that were open, for identifying next steps that needed to move things forward. We got momentum back. If you occasionally hear team members saying things like, I'm not sure what Sally does, or I don't understand Juan's role, that's a signal that it's not clear enough what the key accountabilities for other team members are. And it's not possible to create a high-performing team when that's going on. But for me, that's a red flag waving when I hear a 360 report for someone that there hasn't been enough clear directive leadership. If you are curious about how other people experience you as a leader and you'd like the opportunity to do a 360, be happy to talk to you about doing a 360 for you and your organization. We talk to the key stakeholders in your work to find out what their experience of working with you is like, what you do really well, what your strengths are, and what your blind spots are, and what the possibilities are for the future, how you can grow as a leader. This 360 report will make it very clear to you not only what your strengths are, but also what your developmental opportunities are so that you can focus your time and attention on those places that are going to make the biggest difference for you and your team. If you would like guidance, direction, somebody to hold you accountable, please reach out to us at The Professional Development Group. We're a team of executive coaches who help organizations create high-performing teams and great places to work. 
To schedule a call with one of us, click the link below. If you found this content valuable, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Write in the comments below an action that you're going to take as a result of watching this video. And thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.